Hi there, today we're going to go over the most requested crosshopper I think thus far which is the Black Mage Controller Setup Guide. Now I have this based off the level 90 balance opener but it does sink down for lower level content. The issues is Black Mage low level content is a very different rotation since they have moved to transpose. Black Mage also changes a lot when you're leveling and around level 60 or so where below level 60 you're using fire 1 until fire 3 procs and then above level 60 you kind of change into more your end game rotation with fire 4 and blizzard 4. So that's just something to be mindful. Essentially for Black Mage we have our whole single target rotation on the right side and our whole AoE target rotation on the left side. This is pretty much tried and true for every job I do. The only thing I couldn't fit is sharp cast on the single target side, but we'll talk about that a little later and why I have it where it is. Also a note for anyone new to Black Mage, if you're trying to copy an opener from balance but don't have the correct spell speed, you might think you're not being good or you're not hitting the rotation perfectly, but if your stats are way off and you just don't have the correct spell speed, you physically can't do the same exact opener or rotation. For Black Mage, there's usually a high crit and a high spell speed build, so do a little research on what you want to do later in the game. Right trigger one, we have Blizzard 3, Blizzard 4, Thunder 3, and Swift Cast. Our opener, we start in fire phase, but our entire rotation goes back and forth essentially between ice and fire, and we move up from the letter side from right trigger to letters to right trigger two letters to right trigger one D-pad. So it kind of works into like a triangle type of a rotation. Right trigger one D-pad is our fire phase, which is fire three, triple cast, fire four, and fire one, aka also paradox at later levels. This is basically our fire part of our entire rotation, and I just keep it all right here in the D-pad. It's not really an issue because we don't move a lot as a black mage, and if you have to, we have triple cast. That gives us a lot more mobility than previously. Right trigger two letters is amplifier, xenoglossy, ley lines, and despair. Other than despair, these are all extras from when they're on cooldown. You do have to double weave amplifier and ley lines in that opener, but I don't find it too difficult to do on controller. Right trigger 2 d-pad is Mana Font, Umbral Soul, Mana Ward, and Blizzard. Mana Font is here so it's very close to Fire 4 since this is when we use it after Fire 4, Despair, to get our little more damage. Umbral Soul is here to just mimic Transpose on the other cross hopper on the left side. I keep this here for the small tiny chance I need to refresh my ice procs if I'm going to lose them because of a mechanic happening or I mess up. It has saved me many times from having to start over from scratch when you're losing your astral or umbral stacks. Mana Ward is our shield and oh crap save for if you don't move in time from an AoE and Blizzard 1 is just here for low level dungeons. Now that we have that covered, the right trigger basically after the opener you're moving from right trigger 1 letters to right trigger 2 letters to right trigger one d-pad if i could sum it all up for you luckily aoe is way easier and less worrisome in my opinion but honestly again i have no trouble to keep the timer going on black mage with this setup for single target black mage does have a very unique job rotation and i actually really quite like it in terms of having that 15 second timer but it can cause some panic so that's why i think having a good controller setup is really important if you want to see any other controller setups for different jobs then you can find those in the controller playlist section in the description box. Let's move on to left trigger one letters. It's high blizzard two, formerly blizzard two, freeze, which is the same as our single target blizzard four, thunder four, which is our AOE version of thunder and sharp cast. Left trigger d-pad is high fire two or fire two, triple cast, flare and foul. This is our fire phase of AOE for which you use at three plus enemies. Basically your left trigger is your whole AoE rotation and it's really nice to have something really strong, short, and does a lot of damage. I will put up a graph of a basic AoE rotation here and link you to the balance website that goes into more detail. Once it's learned it's very intuitive and easy to do. Left trigger two letters and d-pad are the extra and really up to you on how you want to set them up. I keep surecast, transpose, scathe on the letters and for the d-pad I have between the lines, addle, and ethereal manipulation for ease of access when needing to select someone to teleport to if I need to. Now this is my tried and true black mage bar. I have been using it for a very long time and just making slight adjustments. I don't see how much I can adjust this to make it easier, but if you guys have any suggestions, I'd love to hear about it in the comment section down below. Or you can join my discord and share your cross hop bar in my controller channel. Hopefully you can use this as a baseline and then just adjust where you think would fit better for you. 
If you want to watch all my other job guide videos for controller, then you can find all those playlists down in the description box. And if you just want to watch more Final Fantasy content guide, then you can click here.